Hi, I'm Becca and in this very brief tutorial, we're going to talk about the new text box component in PsychoPy. So this is a component that essentially allows us to get typed responses from participants. So this is something that comes up quite a lot on the discourse page, on the forum still. Um, and that's because previously we had to use custom code components and all sorts in order to get this type of a response. So I think that this is a very welcome feature in the new PsychoPy. So I've opened up my PsychoPy here, that's uh, version 2020.2.4, and what we're going to do is we're going to present the most simple of tasks uh, that we can using this component. So we're just going to add just one trial, and in that trial we're going to get participants to make a typed response. So to do that, if you go to your components panel here and then go to your responses tab, you'll see this new icon here that is called text box. So we're going to click on that. And here we're going to make that component of infinite duration. So participants have as long as they want to make a response. But critically, we set this to be editable. So this component is very similar to the existing text stimulus component, except this is editable, which is what allows us to get that response from participants. Now we're gonna add some text here, just as a placeholder, and we're gonna say type a response. Now, if we want this to be refreshed on each response or each trial, um, so that is we don't want the previous response participants have made to carry over, then we make sure that we set this to change on every repeat. OK, now we're going to add a couple more things just to allow participants to move on to the next trial. So here we're going to make a button just by using a normal text stimulus. So we're going to call this uh, end button. We set this to be of infinite duration. And here, we're just going to say, click here to continue. OK, now we also want the position of this to be at the bottom of the screen. So let's just change the Y coordinate there. Our final component here is our mouse component. And we want this to be of infinite duration too. But we only want valid clicks to be registered. That's because we've made a button. So to make sure that only valid clicks are registered. We feed in the clickable stimulus here. So we give the name of the component we want participants to click. And let's say hypothetically we want to save a reaction time here. So we'll just save the mouse state on a click. OK, how many responses do we want? Uh, let's say we want three. So we're going to add a loop here and we're going to say n reps equals Three, okay, cool. Let's save that and see what happens. Okay, so now we can see that we actually have two text stimuli appear, except one has this kind of flashing cursor over it. And that's because now we have something that participants can make a response um, in. So they could type something here, then click that button that we've made in order to move on to the next trial. Uh, so we are making our last response now. So let's say done. And let's have a look at what the data look like. So we can go to wherever we've saved our task um, and we'll see this new file here called data. Now, let me just get my most recent data file. And now I can see there is this variable called textbox.text. And we can see that on each trial, we have the typed responses from our participants. OK, so that was a very brief introduction to PsychoPy's new text box component. But hopefully this is something you all find useful in getting typed responses from your participants. Thank you for watching and happy psychopying. Mm -hmm.